Welcome back to the channel. I was going to leave this for Patreon. But then Ange had me watch uh, on uh, Mr. Anthony's uh, channel. He put out a video. And he talked about what are you going to do when, when I'm gone and the song's no longer popular. You gonna, what are you going to do? And the reason... I've been selling... Uh, <clears throat> I haven't been selling my soul, but I have been debt slaving away and uh I, i'm not as upset about it as some other people but what i resonated with is when he said you know what are you going to do and i've been doing it for two years for a lot of folks it looks like tinfoil hat conspiracy theories it's not it never had been it has never been that was always used to convince other people to not pay attention to truthful things. I am grateful that everyone has embraced this gentleman's uh, thing. Uh, I think the song is very good. It's fine. It's full of feelings for people who can't express how much they know. The Epstein client list matters a lot more than the Georgia indictments. So there's actual horror that we're just brushing under the rug, but hyped coup drama as they're trying to take over your country, that's front line every day. So I believe for the history of the channel, I've been talking about this subject for the most part. Uh, it's nice to see other people finally uh, joining along. Hopefully you'll engage in the conversation and not just vent through a protest song and then go back into hiding. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. And I kind of went off 21 minutes on a three minute song. So uh, hopefully that'll get put up on Patreon eventually. Uh, I like the song. I do. I'm just long past this. Um, I talk to this like it's my enemy because it is. I talk to my smart TV like an enemy because it is. And at least if we get too far, the system already knows what side I'm on. And much respect to uh, Oliver Anthony and Richmond, north of Richmond, for breaking through to other people and maybe waking them up to the idea that they're being... Uh, there's a lot bigger picture, and uh, it's not just here. It's global. And total control is... why you don't get to talk about the island. See, you get controlled, they get freedom to do whatever horrors they want. Then they've won. These rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Want to know what you think, want to know what you do, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do, because your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end, cause the Okay, and then my honey thinks I'm rolling my eyes at his stuff. And it's not the song. It's that unless we literally go to the petrodollar, the Fed, and the next level, it's awesome, thought-provoking stuff. But until we stop them printing money out of thin air and then get control of the upper class that cannot be told no because they're so rich. So they, 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 so there's just a group of people that have never heard no. 
their whole life. And I'm, I'm, I don't think it's unsafe to guess that a lot of us have heard no more than yes. And that's the difference. I no longer want to take an order from anyone who's never been told no. Their life doesn't have the same value as mine. They believe everything is for them, and that's just not true. It's men. I wish politicians would look out for miners, and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to heat, and the whole beast milk and welfare. I just said it, babe. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. I, all right, this is a little weird, I admit. It's an edit. I'm editing it right now. And I was watching it, and we're at the fudge rounds portion. And I, um, I do agree. Then I switched and I used an analogy about child support. And it actually, uh, upon reflection, uh, I don't actually feel that way. And it was a little strong. It was. I do feel if, uh, you know, the whole thing just benefits a uh, sloth. And I use that in its, uh, you know, cryptic mystical sense, I guess. Or, uh, you know, Seven was Spacey before his fall. Uh, I, I have to admit that I'm, I'm cutting out my rant here uh, on the grounds that I agree, but I went too far. And I'll, I'll share. I'm not ashamed. It was a basically, uh, mom shouldn't get anything. And it was it was dumb. But it was really about leaving a nest egg for the child, not um, uh, mad because someone bought cigarettes. And I, uh, I channeled uh, uh, feelings that I don't actually have anymore. So I thought, let's get rid of them. I even uh, put effort into making it clear that I... I I sometimes say stuff I don't totally uh, agree with because uh, all opinions for entertainment purposes only. Think Colbert before he switched sides. That was a that was a pretty good uh, was a pretty good act he put on. But every now and then I bet it hurt him to say a few things, and I, it didn't hurt me. I just wanted to reflect upon it, thinking, well, I don't actually agree with that because uh, it's also uh, labor intensive to raise a child. And uh, to be fair, <laughs> all right, back to whatever the hell I was uh, doing on that one. Because there's people who have lived at the bottom, but consistently make too much to get any sort of help, but they're still expected to pay all their bills while, yeah, you slam down packages of fudge rounds on the state's dollar. It's sad. Don't not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds, young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down lord it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me people like you wish i could just wake up and it not be true but it is Because your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed in the... Well, the dollar will be a digital uh, crypto, of course. Uh, hey, hey, as your dollar sinks, maybe you should run and get world coin and let them scan the number to beast into you. Yeah, that'll be better. But I know that you do, because your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end, because the rich men, North of rich men, Uh, these things do create some happiness with uh, texts from your loved ones and stuff. So all my hate, that's why I just yell at it, but I still use it. TV, I need it to perform my function here, but uh, I don't like that it listens on me. I just, 
I found out I got a package on the front porch. And, you know, with today's day and age, you, you don't want to let that sit out there too long. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pay Yeah, I really like it. The only difference is I've been um, debt slaving away at the daily grind to serve my family and pray for freedom all the time. Okay. I don't see it all as negative because if I all had, if everyone had an acre and a, a, a donkey and a plow, they'd literally be working from sunup to sundown every day. I just don't understand what people think. The technological world will not save you. Uh, being able to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and get stuff done, maybe uh, uh, create food from the ground itself. Because cricket paste, uh, meta programmed uh, 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 isolation tube, that ain't no way to live. I know I'm not just going to be, you know, withered down to a data point or a battery or whatever you want. Well, that's what it is. We're just a data point for selling, manipulating. Uh, uh, but I won't open up that uh, tinfoil hat conspiracy here, but I'm pretty sure your uh, straw man, your fake, your corporate entity is what they actually gamble on and play their games with. But that's some deep tinfoil hat stuff. So uh, I'll, Oliver Anthony, Richmond, north of Richmond. Uh, I like it. I really do. Ange thinks I don't like it, but I'm just not swept away by an emotional tide. I've been saying this same stuff for two years. I'm going to say it until the end, until I'm either swallowed by the flames, put down by the Luciferian stormtroopers, or gain freedom and um, have my chains lifted. Right? I mean, those are my two options. I could be freed to make choices and take care of myself where I can be enslaved by the Luciferian system that's um, in control everywhere. Cool. <laughs>